If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, do you find nervous and shy girls attractive? Answer by Adam Tyner. If they are my lover. If not, it's fucking annoying. It's all right being nervous and shy, but hey, if you can't even show you're attracted to a guy or a girl, what's the point? I don't go around like most do and say, I'm shy, 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 nervous shy, nervous, not good at talking to people, so nervous and, that programs our brain, ooh okay, you is then shy, nervous, that's what you want, then I'm not going to jive view tools you got already inside of you, the mind is like a pattern recognition machine, you tell it enough times you're nervous, you are shy, you are this, you can't, not good enough, never good at it, blah blah, it will make this your pattern, it will then become your pattern of life. Let's get real here. Shy and introvert are not the same thing. Shy is where the person is fearing negative judgment, negative opinion from others. They crave to be accepted, validated, approved and since they then don't take action, they will of course feel nervous in doing the most simplest of things like walking up, talking to someone they like and have a conversation. While introversion is a preference for quiet, for minimal stimulating from the environment etc. If you're shy, nervous, then don't expect some guy to know you're attracted to him if you don't speak, don't engage and don't interact. Many people complain how others see them and how they don't have friends but at the end of the day, it works both ways. You can't expect someone to meet a girl halfway when she isn't willing to either, and grow, and get out of her comfort zone and you can't expect in a world diverse in personalities to think everyone has to accept your personality and not learn about theirs. Being at awkward, shy, nervous as a lover can be cute. It's not cute, it's not attractive to me if she isn't my lover because when you behave in a manner of disinterest, believe that isn't cute, attractive. If a confident guy she is attracted to doesn't approach her then she be like most girls who grow up as women. They be seen as women who are unapproachable. Sure, she probably attract guys with her ass and tits and all that. But here's the thing many girls don't realize. You then don't have a wider choice that's out there. Your pool of men gets very restricted on who approaches you and that is all you have and you can't complain why guys who you're attracted to don't approach, which we see a lot on here asking such questions. You limit it to probably a lot of assholes, a lot of jerks, a lot of guys who just want to fuck and leave you standing. You might get someone who is awesome, a lover time who does love sex but also sees more in you. And the chances of that can be increased if you are proactive in those matters. It's simple really. Do you want it slow and painful? Stay put. Do you want it faster then take life by the horns and you will need to grow. That means taking risks. If you don't grow through it, you go through what you don't like, what you're frustrated with, again and again, and again. Shy, nervous, awkward is cute and attractive when the girl is one's girlfriend but if she isn't the guy's girlfriend, it reveals she isn't attracted to the guy. She is showing disinterest and she is unapproachable. Answer by Alex Fall. Yes. I've been messed around by enough women to the point where I actually want someone who wouldn't say boo to a goose, just so that I can have the peace of mind that they won't have the confidence to fuck me over. It's all total bollocks. Of course, people will mess you about regardless of how confident they are. My inner MGTOW tells me that it will happen no matter what, but psychologically I still unconsciously associate shyness with an inability to hurt me. The biggest issue is of course that I'm shy and nervous myself, and wouldn't even consider approaching anyone like this. Answer by Alan Day R. Yes, people that are too outward can be annoying and hard to take in large doses. Shy girls tend to not want to make a spectacle of themselves and therefore appear more down to earth. 